Welcome back, my friends, to MC Cubed. Today, we will be starting our base. Quick disclaimer, I'm a little bit sick, so this video may be short. And I... It may be mostly just jumping to progress updates. We are in a savanna. It's where our base will take place. I've also got a, a village that way. No, this way. There's a village this way in a desert that will also be for future projects. Because the project here, our main base, is going to be an eco village. And mob farms and well regular farms like food farms don't really work in an eco village at least not the one i'm going to do because monoculture farming is bad for the environment and they wouldn't have one they wouldn't have monoculture farms in an eco village just trying to say slightly realistic The main house of our base area will be up here. And it will be call it will be something called an earthship. I don't really know how to explain to you what an earthship is, so I have the definition in front of me. An earthship is a type of passive solar house that is made of both natural and upcycle up the blah, 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 and upcycled materials such as earth packed tires it's basically a it's basically an off grid house That is cheap to make and uses man-made materials like the definition said it, uh, earth pack tires, which are tires that you shove dirt into, then hammer the dirt in with a sledgehammer, and then... I forgot what I was saying. Oh, and then once it's packed tight, you add more dirt and until it's completely full and packed tight and none of the dirt's coming out. I highly suggest looking it up. It's quite interesting. And I'm going to clear out this area off camera, set up some markers for the build, and get back to you. So, Little Mouse just came by to bring me a cake. Don't know why, but happy about it. Alright, I've cleared out an area and laid out the planning for the interior of rooms interior rooms um i feel like there's a typo in that message hold on one second all right sorry for that interruption Also, sorry if you just heard the noise of me pushing my glasses up on my face, and now I just hit my microphone. That's great. Um, what was I saying? Right, this is the layout 
for the interior, kind of. Um, this will be the... The dining area. The kitchen will be over here. That's a bedroom, and this will be a storage room. Maybe vice versa. Hmm. But let's start with, uh, with the bedroom. The backs are going to be... Oh, that sucks. The backs are going to be curved. And I'm not sure quite how I want to do the interior. Or sorry, the walls. It is the interior. I think that's better. Four tall. Yeah, I think that's good. The the front will be taller than the back though, so maybe six in the front. That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. I'm Actually, real excited to be part of a server. Because it just... It can get a little lonely. When you're the... Only person progressing... The world. I know that a lot of people like to play Minecraft that way. You have complete control over what's being built. You don't have to worry about... Other people taking your stuff, or... Not that that's an issue on this server, but... Where's that tree? Here it is. I'm just excited to be playing with other people, see what other people create. Like, I think... Mongo said he was going to be building a underwater base in the middle of the ocean. I'm not sure what Dragon is making, but I know he, I remember it being carp comp compartmentalized. But it's just going to be exciting to, to be able to log on and see that new things are around, you know? So I just came back from the zombie XP farm to get some experience for fixing my tools when I came across another cake from Mouse. So, that's nice. I feel like she's probably been doing some villager breeding. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. I think my voice just cracked. Alright. So, quick progress update. I finished this room and I've decided that this is going to be the storage room. Uh, Mongo helped me with the door frame. He, his idea was uh, stone bricks, and then he suggested you could also use slabs and stairs and blah blah blah, and that gave me the idea for this. Which I really like it. I was trying to do the, um, the acacia wood, but right here you could see the orange and it just didn't go well with the rest of the build. Uh, 
I think the inside looks nice. Kind of simple, but it's got some depth and... I might switch out some of these stairs with, um... Some oak, I think. Def I, I was gonna say dark oak, but I, I think dark oak would be too dark. For this setting, anyways. But besides that, I'm happy with the room, with the, the way this turned out. And over here, where the bedroom is going to be, will look pretty much the same, except the door is going to be here. And then this will be the dining area. I think I said that earlier, though. So, uh, yeah, end of progress update. I'll get back to you when I've done some more. So, I finished this room and have decided that it is the storage room. Nothing fancy. Not sure quite how I'm going to organize it yet, but I know that anything that I mine, like stone and diorite, granite, cobblestone ores, is going to be in that cave that's behind the trees over there, right there. And over here, I've decided it's the bedroom. And like I said earlier, right now it pretty much just looks the same. That'll change though, once we get beds, or a bed rather, and decorations and all that other great stuff that goes into a... A bedroom. Not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but um, the reason that I'm leaving this empty for now is I want to play around with some glazed terracotta. The same with the hallways. This is a hallway, and so is that one over there. I want to play around with some terracotta which requires finding the mesa, which I found, but I lost all of my diamond tools, so I can't make a portal. And I, I found it using a portal, and it, it's complicated, I'm not explaining it right. Point is, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to the mesa, so next episode will most likely be building... Or at least setting up a zombie XP farm, which I think I found over here. The the spawner that is, I think I found it over here, though it might be over there somewhere. I don't know, I screenshotted it, so it'll be easy to find. And I know that I've said that mob spawners don't really work in a eco-village build, you have to take the spawners how you get them. You can't just hope that there will be the spawner you want in, uh, in where you want to build it. Um, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the progress of this build and the rest of the server, subscribe or follow if you're on Vidme. And I hope you come back.